Last time on Pokemon Platinum, we defeated Cyrus and got through the Distortion World. And now, we're going to face Giratina, the legendary Pokemon of the Distortion World. Look at that distortion in the background. That cyclone of fury. <laughs> Wait, let me try and read this. Sounds like a Welsh town name. And the camera changes, which means that this is about to get serious. And up Giratina comes, in sync with us stepping on that second step. As you can see, we are moving up and down with the step. Actually, no, we're not. They were too lazy to animate that. And the third step. And the rotation speed and direction changes. And Giratina descends to us. Giratina is quietly eyeing Julian. This is a good opportunity to save your game. Why am I still talking in that voice? Jeez. Okay. So this is our battle against Giratina. This is why I bought all those Dusk Balls. We are in a dark place and Giratina is exceptionally hard to catch. But I am going to do it on video. And this battle music is the best in the game. Let's leave it at that. Here we go, a battle against level 47 Giratina. The reason I'm starting with Empoleon is because it re resists both of Giratina's types. It is a ghost dragon type. And believe it or not, it's incredibly powerful. As you can see, dragon resists quite a few different types, as well as steel, which is why Empoleon is up front. Nevertheless, this thing has incredible stats and can do a lot of damage. And when I say a lot, I mean a whole freaking lot. Now, right there, it used a move called Shadow Force, which is a really powerful ghost-type version of Fly. Whenever that happens, you'll want to switch to a normal-type Pokémon, so that it will not be affected by Shadow Force. Because, you know, that's really cheeky, and that's how you do it. And I cut the Wild Giratina's attack. That's brilliant. See, it didn't affect Staraptor right there, which is a very, very good thing. So now, I think my tactic is just going to be to Aerial Ace it. Just get it down into the low health numbers. Once that's done, just lob the... Lob the Dusk Balls at it. Even though I should have probably thrown some Quick Balls at it since I did get them, I'm going to just weaken it down. Now this could hurt. This could seriously hurt. No, it wasn't too bad. But stuff can hurt. And I hope it doesn't use Shadow Force here. Because I won't... Yeah, I won't be able to do anything on this turn. Still, it won't hurt me either. Because it's really stupid, really. Enough said. So I think I'm just going to aerial ace it down into the red. And just keep doing what I do. Yeah, that's a great way of putting it. So this thing has the normal legendary catch rate of 3. Which basically means that if you to toss a Pokeball at it when it's at full health, a normal standard issue Pokeball, there is a 0.4% chance of catching it. Now, believe me, that's pretty difficult to catch. Now that it's in the red numbers, I don't have any moves that can put it to sleep or paralyze it. Putting it to sleep is the best thing to do, because it incre it um, multiplies your chance of catching it by two. But uh, do not use your Master Ball against this thing. It is not worth catching in a Master Ball. Dusk Ball time. If this gets boring, I'll just cut ahead to me catching it. Now, Ancient Power. That's another one of its moves, along with Ominous Wind. They pretty much do the same thing. They have a 10% chance of increasing all of Giratina's stats at once. Now, Ominous Wind cannot affect Staraptor, but, as you saw, Ancient Power knocked it right out because it's a rock-type move. Which is, you know, a little bit annoying. But, what the hey? I'm going to switch into Roserade. Now, one risk I don't really want to... One risk with Roserade, let me say, is that um, if Giratin does attack it with a physical move and it gets poisoning from it, that could be bad because then I'll have to restart. Uh, I'll have to reset uh, the game and I'll have to make sure that it doesn't get poisoned because it'll just it'll faint from it, really. That's all I can say. Two. Two, that's not bad. Two Pokeballs and both of, both have shaken. Ancient Power 
it's not a uh, physical based attack, so I don't need to worry about poisoning from that. So yeah, I really like Giratina's battle music. So that's very techno and futuristic, and eerie at the same time. And uh, yes, it is the music from the intro for uh, for this series. Uh, I think I'm going to res restore... Actually, no. You know what? I'm just going to... No. She's, she's no longer alive. So there's no point. Who can I switch into who can resist this? Special defense. Not Roserade's the best for it. Roserade has the most special defense out of my team. So... Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Yeah. Actually, I'm right. So... I guess I'll just heal up. That's the idea with Giratina. It's a test of endurance. How long can you last against this monster? That's the thing. And Can you catch it before it knocks your whole team out? So there's Shadow Force. It has a power of 120, so it's quite a bit more powerful than Fly. And look at that! Look how much it did! Jesus Christ! I hate you! Right, Pokeballs and Dust Ball. <laughs> Not even a shake. Brilliant. Now, the best possible scenario for this is if... Uh, it is asleep, and it is in the red health. And crap, that's not good at all. There goes Giratina. Oh yeah, that's great. I grew level 41 off Giratina. But you know what? I'm going to leave it like that. I'm not too bothered about catching Giratina. I'm not going to bother resetting, because every single other playthrough, I've caught Giratina. And I've used it on my team, and I've just slaughtered everything. I'm going to try doing it without that. Giratina seems to have understood us. That Pokemon. That Shadow Pokemon was defeated? Yes! You're doing so means this irrational world will remain in existence. Does that make it impossible for me to create a new world? Even if I made new red chains, the new world can't be made. Why? What compels you to protect the two worlds? Is spirit, a vague and incomplete thing, so important to you? The places we are born. The time we spend living. Languages we speak. Les langues vivants que nous parlons. That's it. That's it in French. See, I'm, I'm good at French. We're all different, but the presence of Pokemon unites us. We share our lives with our Pokemon, and our happiness grows as we all become greater than we were alone. That's why we can battle and trade with anyone we choose. Silence! I kill you. Enough of your blathering. That's how you justify spirit as something worthwhile? This is merely humans hoping, deluding themselves that they are happy and safe. The emotions rolling inside me. Rage, hatred, frustration. These ugly emotions arrive because of my own incomplete spirit. Enough, we will never see eye to eye. This I promise you, I will break the secrets of the world. With that knowledge, I will create my complete and perfect world. One day you will awaken to a world of my creation. A world without spirits. Oh, really? Since there is sadness, we can feel joy. When there is anger, compassion is born. Let's go back home. The portal where Giratina was should lead us back to our world. Giratina was written in legend as being on the other side of our world. It stands to reason that it has a link to the other side. There's a portal where Giratina was. Will you leave it to the portal? Yes. I better hope there's a blue one. Oh! This place? It's the send-off spring. It's said to somehow lead to the great beyond. And Giratina was said to live in a world on the opposite side of ours. Oh, I'm sincerely sorry. It's very rude of me. Julian, you're incredible. You really are a fantastic trainer. Let me say this on behalf of all of Sinnoh. Julian, thank you. Oh, that's right. You have to go tell Professor Rowan. He was very worried about you. You should visit him at his lab. Right here. This is the send-off spring. This is where we can catch Giratina if we did not... Uh, if we knocked it out in the distortion world right there. But we need to go over to Sandgem Town and tell Professor Rowan about our exploits. So let's do that. So yeah, I'm not too sad about not catching Giratina, but at the same time, you know, sad to see it, uh, see it faint. Anyway, let's go tell him. Oh, they're waiting for us. Julian, you've come back. You, you leave me speechless. You've done it. You really have done it. Never's my heart pounded. Ugh, I'm tired. Never's my heart pounded this hard for so long in my 60 years of living. 
I professor did a lot of checking up after you left. He was really worried about you, Julian. He contracted, he contacted acquaintances looking for help, and Julian, I'm glad to see you safe. Welcome back. Oh yes, there was something I had to tell you. The three Pokemon of the Lakes appear to have returned to their home. So tell me, how are things going for you? The Pokedex? Hmm, a total of 161. And the number of badges? Well, you've got seven already. That only leaves Sunny so Sunny the gym. Hmm, you've come this far. Why not obtain Sunny Shores gym? Badge. I want to challenge the Pokemon League. That'll broaden your horizons further than ever before. Not to mention the opportunities to meet even more Pokemon. Well, that is what we have to do. The next part of our adventure is going to Sunny, Sh Sunny Shore City and getting that gym badge. But before we do, I'm going to investigate the three lake Pokemon. The first of which that I will investigate is going to be Azelf in Lake Valor. So, in the next episode of Pokemon Platinum, we'll find a Pastoria City, and, well, actually, I'll probably do that now, and we will investigate the idea of what the hell's happening with Azelf. And, you know, I've got all those Dusk Balls left over. I may as well just use them and try and catch it. So, see you guys then. Not really, I'm going to fly to Pastoria City right now, so let's do that. Fly! There we go. See you guys then.